What's up guys, welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. So if you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I got two cases from B-Stock Solutions. I've talked about them in my past. It's a wholesaler that I get stuff from. You bid on different auctions, usually of pallets and stuff, but these were smaller loads. I got 50 random hats and 40 random NHL shirts. The hats are Realtree co-branded with Top of the World, which is like Fanatics Lids brand, and it's different random schools. I don't know what I'm gonna get, so let's see what we have. Pretty low risk here. I won the auction for $100. Um, then you gotta pay the buyer's premium and the shipping and everything, and it was 140 for the hats. Yeah, and I got 50 of them. So a little less than three bucks a hat, really can't go wrong there. Most of these, I'm thinking I'll be able to sell anywhere between 15 and $20 a hat. And I calculated, I just got to sell 14 hats after fees and shipping to make my money back. And then the rest is profit. And this isn't a hat box. <laughs> this, this would be the shirts. The NHL shirts, you can see they all just kind of come in here randomly. Let's see what we got here. All different sizes. This one's a women's New York Rangers. Pretty sweet there. Another Rangers, same one. Easy list. Ooh, a little Boston Bruins. I'm liking the women's shirts. Women's apparel sells really well in most sizes, honestly. Men's can get a little tricky when you get into the smalls and mediums. Uh, yeah, but these are all women so far. That's fine with me. Uh, so the shirts, I paid $150 after everything and I got 40 shirts, so a little over $3 a shirt and I should be able to get same thing, 15 to 20 bucks, depending on the one. Uh, another Boston Bruins. You got a Philadelphia Flyers. About five New Jersey Devils. So these are women's as well. Honestly, I was hoping I just didn't get youth, and I haven't seen a youth yet, so that's good. Here's some men's. Oh yeah, large. Large, large, large. We love larges and men's. What else we got? Is that the same one? Easy list. Let's go. Another couple of those. So yeah, this was definitely worth it. Even if it's older players, like it, it doesn't matter. Less than three bucks a thing or just over three bucks, whatever it was. Another Boston Bruins, Devils. So we really don't have a ton of variety, which honestly, not bad. Not upset with that because it's less listing for me and this stuff should sell pretty well. Might take till next season to sell. Well, Minnesota Wild. Rangers, Florida Panthers, more Florida Panthers. Ooh, got a hoodie in here. This was supposed to just be shirts. Nice. This one might be youth or women's, but it's a really nice hoodie. Should be like about 25 bucks for that. And then at the bottom here, we got Flyers, more Bruins. Nice. More Capitals. So not upset with that at all. Didn't really know what I was going to get. Kind of like a mystery box. They gave a couple samples or whatever, but it could have been any size, any teams. Um, I didn't really care, honestly, because the least I'm going to get for a shirt, even if it's women's or youth, is going to be 10 bucks. So if you're not going to lose money on that, a lot of them, yes, I'm going to have to sit on and hold. But again, shouldn't take more than probably a month or so to make my money back on it. And then it's just really good inventory to have. But this is the box. I've been excited for because I love hats a lot. And this is 50 hats, random. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Miami Red Hawks with $20 tags on them. See, they're all co branded with Realtree. That's what the pictures were, too. Um, and they're the one fit hats, so. They're a stretch fit that fits anyone. Yeah, 
it's got more room but it's comfortable it could fit a small medium to a large extra large so really nice quality there and some of these depending on the schools will be a lot but yeah and miami red hawks is in ohio i sell a lot of their hats i don't know why i just don't think there's a big selection of them out there then we got a tigers i think this is missouri nice nice those are really oh those are medium large really cool there so these are really nice camo hats love me some camo hats we got some north dakota look at that nice these are good schools too we got vandy more than the north dakota oh how about a little golfer action the minnesota golden golfers nice uh, I'm probably going to order again from this one if they have any auctions. More Missouri. Got Kansas State Wildcats. So again, not many listings here. Honestly, fine by me. I thought it was going to be like 40 random hats. Um, I don't mind sitting on inventory. And these, especially come football season, these things are going to fly. So I'm going to load up on as many types of things like this that I can. I'm guessing this is Montana, the Bears. Commodores, more bears, more wildcats. Ooh, Creighton Blue Jays. Got a bunch of those. Nice. And we got Wake Forest. No. Uh, oh, Western Michigan. They have the logos on the back. That's nice. Very nice here. Love to see it. And that's it for those. Really nice here. Lots of these, so 50 hats, 40 shirts. Going to be getting more boxes of these. Let me know if you guys are interested in these type of videos um, when I get loads of stuff in. I, I get this type of stuff in all the time, but I never really unbox it on here. B-Stock is a great place. I really like it. There's a big selection of stuff. Um, a lot of trash on there, to be honest. A lot of stuff I'm not going to buy, but you just got to be patient and wait for the auctions that you want and not bid on the ones that they just ask for too much. But I really like it and it's definitely worth it. Uh, I appreciate everyone for watching and subscribing. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can do so at millennial underscore profit. You can also check out the cook group down below and how to join that. It's another place where I get inventory. Again, to be a full-time reseller, you need to be having streams of money coming in from all over, all different sources of things. I'm selling pools, I'm selling hats, all this other stuff. I'm getting pallets of stuff, going to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Retail Arbitrage. Uh, going to thrift stores, doing some thrifting. Literally, it's a non-stop for me, but I enjoy it so much. It's a full-time job. A lot of people think this is easy. It's not, but you got to keep just exploring and uh, finding new opportunities. And you never know, you might be able to become a full-time reseller. Not making any of these videos to brag, just to inspire and show that you can become a full-time reseller in 2021. So that'll do it for this video. There's money to be made out there everywhere. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit. <laughs>